What up, everybody? Nice to be back. What's going down, ladies and gents? <clears throat> so, today, basically, right? Um, I really just want to talk to you guys about, you know, my fitness journey. So, um, you know, I'm on a fitness journey, trying to get myself, you know, in shape, um, trying to get cut, trying to get shredded, you know, trying to, you know, just get myself in shape pretty much and healthy all, all the way around, right? So I've been working out pretty consistently and going to the gym pretty much every day. I take one day as a rest day and I go every day pretty much except for that one day uh, to let my muscles relax, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if y'all can see anything yet, but you know, I'm getting, I'm getting there, right? So I'm trying. Um, one new thing that I've implemented this week, it's been going good, was that um, I started fasting, right? So I started um, intermittent fasting. So basically I didn't eat till about 2.30 and then I didn't eat after like 10. I only, and I decided only to eat two meals within the day. So just two meals, I'm watching my caloric intake. Um, so whenever I, if I do go out to go get some fast food or whatever, I'm watching the calories on that um, and just doing the math. I'm not eating any candy. I haven't had any candy, any chocolate any of that in this this whole week. Um, one thing that I did get, which was Nature Valley, uh, those those bars and stuff, just as a, a protein snack and like a supplement for protein. Um, basically I have that and I eat that and I limit myself <clears throat> to only like two bars um, a, a day pretty much, right? So I limit myself to only two bars and I count the calories on that. They're 150 for their calories for both. And then I, you know, see the other stuff that I'm eating as well. Cause I'm trying to stay between like 1800, like 15 to 1800 uh, calories. I'm trying to do a, a deficit of my calorie intake. Uh, I think before I was taking in a lot of calories through just not even necessarily me eating all like eating stuff. It was through like me eating like chocolate, me eating candy, right? Uh, me drinking a lot of juice, right? So juice itself, you know, was a, a major thing with me. Like I drank a lot, I drink juice cause I, I like juice, you know, but now um, I'm just drinking straight water. I'm not drinking no apple juice, no orange juice, no lemonade, not, not even not even the Simply Lemonade, which is like my favorite lemonade. Um, so I'm, you know, just trying to get everything right. One thing that I did add to my regimen was basically uh, I decided to take a supplement, right? So I took a supplement, it's called ginseng. Give me one second, guys, I'll be right with you. Coming, coming, coming. So I took a supplement, it's called ginseng complex, right? It's by Nature's Bounty. I'm taking this, take two a day. Um, looked it up online, it supports energy and immune function. Uh, I have my laptop over there. I'm gonna bring it over to you and gonna relay the seven uh, proven facts of ginseng. And I've been taking that, I feel good. Uh, my energy, I feel like my energy has increased. I'm not, I mean, I'm pretty energetic already, but I feel like my energy has increased. I feel pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I, I'm sure it's doing something. Uh, it helps to, met like, to metabolize my fat. Uh, helps with energy, turning fat into energy and stuff like that. Uh, and healthy immune system, uh, probably gonna speed up my, um, my uh, what is it called? Uh, I forgot what it's called, but it's gonna you know help me be able to to uh, digest a lot faster and have a lot of energy and stuff like that. So again, it's ginseng complex, right from Nature's Bounty. That's what it looks like, right? All right, so let me get my laptop. All right, guys, this is my laptop. And basically what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna read you the seven healthy, the proof, the seven proven healthy health benefits of ginseng, right? And this is from Healthline, healthline.com, uh, nutrition, whatever. So you can, guys can look it up. Shout out to them for, you know, giving this information for, for me so I can make this video, right? So ginseng has been in, in used in traditional Chinese medicine for centuries. Um, it's a slow growing short plant with fleshy really roots that can be classified in three ways depending on how long it is grown, fresh, white, or red. Fresh ginseng is harvested before four years, it takes a long time for it to, to harvest and grow. While white ginseng is harvested between four to six years and red ginseng takes the longest, which is about, um, which is harvested after six or more years. And the ginseng that's in here, it's the white one because you can, it's a capsule. So when you open it up, you see that it's the white one that's within this capsule, right? So 
All right. Um, so there's many different types of ginseng. There's, you know, the popular ones are the American ginseng, the Panix one, or the Asian, and the Asian ginseng as well, right? So um, let's get to it, right? So let's get to, number, to, to the top seven benefits. Right, so number one is it's a potent and antioxidant that may reduce inflama inflammation, right? So it's potent and antioxidant that may reduce inflammation. So that means antioxidant, you know, to help you with like your blood and stuff like that, um, help you with with health with a healthy immune function, and um, you know, help you with with diseases and, and things of that nature. Um, yeah. So yeah, so that's good. And number two, it's that it may benefit brain function. I don't know why they say may benefit brain function. And this is called the seven proven facts of ginseng. You don't start it with may if it's the seven proven facts of something, correct? It's just English, right? So don't say that. <laughs> ginseng could help improve brain function like memory, behavior, and mood. Well, I'm not gonna lie. I have been feeling a lot smarter recently um, I'm already a, a pretty smart guy, thanks to God, you know, um, a shout out to God for making me who I am. Um, but honestly, maybe it's true. I, I do feel a lot quicker witted. Um, you know, I'm doing really well at my job. I was already doing pretty good, but this week I was just bang, 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 you know, in uh, functions like memory, behavior and mood. I feel pretty good and my memory is OK, <laughs> you know, so. I feel good, my memory is okay, so yeah. And um, yeah, but it does say, however, these benefits stop being significant after eight weeks, suggesting that ginseng effects may decrease with extended use. There are people that say just take it for two months and then stop for like a week or two and then start taking it again, right? So your body can kind of get used to not having it. And so whenever you start taking it again, you can start feeling the effects a little bit more, right? Um, just something that you guys want to take in, into into consideration. Um, yeah, so number three, could improve erectile di dysfunction, right? So we know what er erectile dysfunction is, which primarily affects older gentlemen. Um, I'm not that old. I'm only 24. I don't have erectile dysfunction. I think my erectile works pretty well. Um, so uh yeah but that that could be a benefit to whoever has that problem and stuff like that i guess and it, it helps increase i would probably say i don't know maybe testosterone or something like that and just helps with the healthy blood flow of yourself to your you know your penis and stuff like that so number four may boost the immune system again the may part of this i don't like that right <clears throat> don't call it seven proven benefits of ginseng if you're going to start everything with may and could and this and that that's not something that's sure of itself that's something that's wishy-washy right so some studies explored to its effect on immune system have focused on cancer patients and going surgery or chemotherapy treatment right another study examines the effect of brand ginseng extract on immune system markets in people for advanced stomach cancer and, and stuff like that so it seems like it does help with 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 you know your immune system, uh, giving you a stronger immune system, and stuff like that. Um, yeah. So num number five may have potential benefits against cancer. Kind of we kind of read that. So because ginseng and herb have been shown to help reduce inflammation and provide antioxidant protection, um, and that's really good to fight against. You know, I guess probably like cancer causing or things because you know i think like when you have i'm not too sure i'm not a doctor or anything but antioxidant is something that's good for you because it fights against things that can i guess um genetically modify your cells which can cause cancer or something like that but i'm not a doctor so don't don't another thing so you know that's good right but we've kind of already read that so number six may fight tiredness and increase energy levels again with the may it just bothers me guys i'm sorry um well, I think that sounds about right. I mean, but I've been sleeping at a good, reasonable time every night. Like, I still feel tired. Like, I just like I'm not tired. Honestly, I was watching a video, um, studying real quick, and I was kind of tired, you know, like kind of sleepy. So, um, but I mean, my energy is pretty up. It's still up, you know. Um, so that's good. 
Yeah, so it says ginseng has been shown to help fight fatigue and promote energy. Um, I would say, yeah, you know, it's pretty accurate. And seven could lower blood sugar, so that's good. Ginseng seems to be beneficial in the control of blood glucose in people with both, both with and without diabetes. American and Asian ginseng have been shown to improve pancreatic cell function, boost insulin production, and enhance the uptake of blood sugar and tissue. Moreover, studies have shown ginseng extracts help by providing antioxidant protection that reduces free, there it is, the free radicals in the cells of those who have diabetes. There we go. So, yeah, man, it's it's pretty good. Um, I, you know, this is something that uh, I have been taking recently, and I think it's it's doing its job. I'm really just trying to help it help use it to help me boost my production in the gym uh, to then again modify my body fat um, uh, to help me boost up my energy so I can get my goals that I want to get physically, and if it also helps with my immune system my energy as well as my brain uh, power concentration. Um, and if it also helps with, you know, all the other stuff, that's good as well. Um, so yeah, I'll, I mean, I'm not gonna say I recommend anything, but this is pretty good. I like it, it's pretty, it's natural. Um, let me read some of it to you guys. The ingredients, I don't know if I can find it. It's non-GMO. It's not artificial color, no artificial flavor, no preservatives, no sugar, no milk, no lactose, no soy, no gluten, no wheat, no yeast, no fish, sodium free. Pretty good, right? Yep. So directions, ingredients. It has Panax ginseng extract and it has the American ginseng extract. And also it has a little bit of the Chinese red ginseng extract in here too. Oh, that's nice. So it has pretty much all three in here. It's a complex, it's pretty good. Again, I'll just zoom in on there for you guys. And if you guys wanna try it out, um, be free to do so, but consult a medical doctor before you do, um, or do your own research. Of course, I am not liable for your health. Other than that, um, I really appreciate you guys for watching this video and sticking with me as we get on this fitness journey. Of course, I'll still make other videos regarding stocks and stuff like that. Woo, the stock market, oh, the past month has just been doing, just not been doing good, man. We'll talk about it. I'll probably make a video about it. Now, again, I really appreciate you all. Again, uh, thank you so much. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.